Hey everybody, I'm Tammy. Welcome to my channel. Today I have a prepper pantry haul that I picked up at Walmart. That's sort of hard to say, isn't it? Sort of a tongue teaser. Prepper pantry haul. But anyway, I did get some good buys and I'm getting a lot more serious about stocking that pantry and working on my stockpile. As some of you know that watched my video from last week, I did an inventory and found out that everything I had was low because we have been pulling from that pantry and eating out of it. So I'm trying to replenish and I want to build it up even more. I just think it's a wise idea with the state of our world right now and with things that go on with emergencies and things, I think it's a great idea for my family. Now you have to decide what's right for your family. But anyway, enough yapping, we'll get started. First, I want to show you the clearance items that I found, and then I'll start into my stockpile. I bought a big, what I call a bill of groceries, that's what we call it in the South, I bought a big bill of groceries, and I was just about finished going to the register when I noticed these things in the freezer section. They had these frozen pick sweet butter peas marked down to a dollar a bag. Now these usually run, I think the sale tag said $2.58 a bag. So I picked up three of them. I only left one and really I should have got all of them. But I thought somebody else might want to get in on that sale. So I got three bags of these butter peas. These are delicious. I love to fix these with mashed potatoes. So three bags of those at a dollar a piece, put in my freezer. I've always heard about Mary Hill dumplings, and these are uh, freezer dumplings that you can make chicken and dumplings with. So I'm gonna give them a try. They had these marked down to a dollar, and I think these were regular like three dollars or something. Or you know, I should have wrote all that down, but that was a great savings. But I'm gonna try these. It's 12 ounces of frozen white flour dumplings. So when I do, I will let you know about it. So a dollar for that. I got this rice cauliflower, the fried rice style. I got it for a dollar. They had all kinds of convenience foods in there like um, healthy choice and things like that. But this is what I wanted. They had several of these frozen lemonades, and they had these for 50 cents, and these usually run $1.58. So that was a good savings, and really I should have got more of that, because my grandchildren would love it. And I make a punch at Christmas, and it uses this lemonade. So that was, that was bad. I should have got more of it, because they had plenty, plenty of that. So that's what I got on clearance this week at Walmart. Now I'm going to get into what I'm add into my prepper pantry. I spent $44.75 just on the products I'm gonna show you now. So that's what I spent for my stockpile this week. You know, the five and $10 is not getting it no more with me. I've got to up what I'm buying if I wanna stock that pantry. I started with 25 pounds of sugar and this is the great value. And I did the math on this and buying it like this, it's about 56 cents a pound. And I paid, let me find the price. I've got it marked on here. 13 dollars for 25 pounds of sugar. So I got that. And that has really went up, 56 cents a pound for sugar has really went up. I got another pound of pinto beans, and those were a dollar. So those have not went up. I picked up a bag of large lima beans. Those were a dollar 88. Picked up two more bags of pasta for 92 cents. 
They have not went up on this, so I got the Rotini this time. They have the Ziti, the Rotini, the Penne, and the Seashells in the bags for 92 cents a pound. So I think that's a great deal. So I got two of those. We love tomato soup, so I picked up this four pack can of tomato soup. It was $4.78, and that saved about 30 cents from buying it in individual cans. So I picked that up. I got two pound eight ounces more of peanut butter. And we like this great value brand. So what's peanut butter without jam or jelly? So I did pick up some strawberry preserves to go back in the stockpile. This was $3.34 and this has really went up. Oh, I didn't tell you the price for the peanut butter. It was $3.64. I picked up two more packages of macaroni and cheese. They didn't have the shells. They had just the regular macaroni. This has the packet of soft cheese in there. So you don't have to have butter or milk or anything. You just boil your noodles, drain it, and put your cheese in there. And I think that's a good emergency item to have. Now I'm going to have to reach over here and get these instant potatoes. The instant potatoes have went up. They were a dollar a pack. Now they're a dollar twelve. And this is the kind I buy. And you can just use water for these. Now in good situations, if you have milk, you can use milk to make them a little richer. But you can just use water. And the butter is already in there. So I got three packages of those to go back into the stockpile. I also picked up another one of these uh, great value luncheon meat. To me, it tastes just like Spam. And they are a good price right now. They're $1.98 a can. So, that's what I got. I also picked up the ivory soap to go back in the stockpile. It was $4.97 for... How many bars is this? Ten bars. So I'm going to put that back in the prepper pantry too. With the health and beauty aids. Hygiene. So that's what I got. And that's not really a lot for $44.75. But, you know, prices are going up. They're not going to get any lower. So I just went ahead and I went ahead and spent that on top of what I bought of my regular groceries. Now I want to show you my food safe five gallon bucket. I bought this a while back from Lowe's and the prices have really went up on these. These are BPA free. They're perfectly safe for food. When I bought this bucket, it was like $5, close to $6. Now they're almost $8. The cheapest price I can find on them online is at Lowe's. But you may be able to find them, you know, cheaper than that. I bought a gamma, what's called a gamma lid to go on top. And this is a seal lid. It screws on and off and it's got that gasket. You see the gasket there, the black gasket? That's what keeps it sealed. So this is called a gamma lid. And I think I gave about $6 for it. And now these are up close to $8 now. But it says the gamma lid is for dry food storage, lawn and garden, construction, and pet food. Just whatever you want to put in there. Um, it keeps this airtight and pest proof. So I'm going to have to get me some more of these. And just pay the higher price. You know, I should have bought two or three when they weren't so expensive. But I didn't. This has got to, of course, be washed 
with hot water and soap and rinsed out good and it has to be perfectly dry. But that's what I'm going to put my sugar in. Now, that is everything. I did find two clearance items that were sort of fun items that was in the decor. I got these for 25 cents a piece. They were regular $3. And I picked up two of these for a quarter a piece. So I've got one for me and one for somebody else. So I got those. So that is, I think, all I've got that I want to show you. And I would really love if you would subscribe. I'm really trying to get to a thousand subscribers. And when I do, I'm going to have a giveaway. I'm going to give away a, a gift certificate or a gift card to Dollar Tree. So if you will, if you like this channel, go ahead and subscribe. It's free. All it does is notify you when I have uh, uploaded a video and give me a big thumbs up. And always talk to me in the comments. I love to talk to y'all. And everybody take care. God bless you. And I love you all. Have a good evening.